Asuka, the energetic and strong mother. Yamato, the younger brother who's always in his own little world. Follow us as we karate kick all your daily frustrations away. Asuka's revenge. My name is Kotomi. I've been married to my husband, Takuma, for two years now. We don't have any children yet, but we're living happily together. Oh, uh, Takuma, since we've got a long weekend coming up, why don't we go somewhere? You're right. We don't get many opportunities like this. This month, Thursday and Friday are public holidays, so we've got four days off in total including the weekend. Fortunately, we're both off work, so I suggested we go somewhere. What about that amusement park that was built in the next prefecture? Yeah, I want to go. It's a long weekend, so it'll probably be really crowded. <laughs> That's fine. I'm looking forward to it. So it was decided that we would go to the amusement park that had just opened the next prefecture. With the long weekend just three days away, I was excited and working hard. Then one day... Huh? Kanako-san? My phone rang and it was Kanako-san, the wife of my brother-in-law. Hello? What's the matter? Oh, I'm so sorry to call you out of the blue, but... Could you look after Keita for the next four days during the holiday? What? Four days? That was a sudden request to look after my five-year-old nephew. Is there something you need to do? Well, about that... Apparently, Kanako-san was planning to go on a trip with three of her close friends using the next four-day holiday. At first, I was going to ask my mother to look after Keita, but she's had a fever since yesterday, so I couldn't ask anyone else. What about Kazuma-san? My husband works regardless of holidays and public holidays, so I can't ask him either. So I was wondering if I could ask you. Huh. She said that, but... I'm sorry, but I actually have plans for the consecutive holidays too. If it was just for one day, I could have looked after him, but I don't think I can if it's all four days. I thought about taking Keita to the amusement park, too. But I couldn't risk taking a child out like that even though they're my relatives. <sighs> Can't you cancel those plans? I've been planning this trip with my friends for over half a year, so I really want to go. Kanako-san kept begging me, but... <sighs> even if you say that, I have plans, too. I kept refusing, but Kanako-san would persist. Then all of a sudden... Hey, you don't believe I'm going on the trip, do you? It's true, here's the proof. I'll send you a photo, take a look! What? I'm not doubting that part. Suddenly, without any warning, I got a photo sent to me of Kanako-san with two female friends. See? Don't you believe me now? So please, take care of Keita for me! No, I wasn't doubting you to begin with. And even if you send me a photo like that, it's not like I'll just say okay. Oh my god, why can't you just understand? I'm getting more and more irritated with her selfishness on the other end of the phone. I'm sorry, but as I've said many times, I have plans too. Don't you have any other friends in the neighborhood? Please, ask someone else. I've already asked them, but everybody already has plans, so please, you're the only one I can ask! I told you, I have plans too. Is she really this stupid? Anyway, I'm sorry I can't help you. I can't take care of Keita, so please ask someone else. Hey, wait! I just said that and hung up the phone. I've only met Kanako-san once at my parents' house over New Year's, so we don't really have any contact. Of course, I don't know anything about Keita either. I thought it would be weird for me to take care of a child I didn't know. And I thought that Keita wouldn't like it either. So I went back to my own life, but the next day... I'm sorry, you're the only one I can ask! I got a call from her again. As I said yesterday, I have plans too! I repeated the same thing I told her yesterday. 
Then suddenly, Kanako-san... Uh, no, I canceled the trip! She said. What? If that's the case, there's no need for me to look after him, is there? As I wondered what on earth she was talking about... Uh, yeah, I canceled my trip, but I still want to meet my friends since it's a rare opportunity to see them. So I want you to look after him for just one day. She begged me. Well, if it's just for one day... From yesterday's conversation to this, I thought I could do that much and I let those words slip out. Then, I don't know if she noticed my momentary hesitation, but she took advantage of the opening. Please, we had to cancel our trip and pay a high cancellation fee because you wouldn't look after my child! Could you at least look after him for one day? She said forcefully, but I was a little taken aback. What? Wasn't it just you who canceled? Did your friends cancel too? The word we stuck with me, so I asked her. But Kanako-san went silent for a while. Friends are like that, aren't they? If you plan a trip with your friends and one person can't come, it would be normal for the other two to cancel, right? She said that, but I couldn't really understand. Well, I don't know anything about your relationship with your friend, but if it were me... I would go with the other friend even if one of us couldn't make it. I express my opinion like that, but... Well, could you just look after him for one day? She ignored what I said and asked me to babysit. Hmm... I feel like something's off. I felt a little uncomfortable about what she said. So I told her I wanted to put that request on hold for now and hang up. That night I talked to my husband about it. That's what she asked me. When I refused, the other friends who were going with her also canceled the trip. It's a little strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little unnatural. I'll ask Kazuma about it. Yeah, please do. So my husband called my brother-in-law, Kazuma-san. After talking with him for about 10 minutes, he came to me and explained the situation. I talked to Kazuma about the situation, but... It seems there are discrepancies between what Kazuma heard from Kanako-san and what you're saying. Discrepancies? Yeah. It seems like one of the friends who is going on the trip knows Kazuma, so he said he would ask that person and get back to me. I see. Okay. And so, after half an hour, my husband started talking to my brother-in-law on the phone again. What's going on? My husband sounded really surprised on the phone, so I listened carefully. When he finished the phone call, the first thing he told me was that... Kanako's son's friends didn't cancel their trip. Huh? What do you mean? It turns out that Kanako-san was lying, and as we were trying to figure out her real intentions... Oh, wait, I thought she said it was three nights and four days, but when I checked with Kazuma, it was only one night and two days. What? It turns out that the number of days on the trip were also a lie. What's going on? Everything I heard was a lie? I don't understand either. The question mark is spinning round and round in our heads. What did Kanako-san want to do? Anyway, Kazuma said he'd ask Kanako-san's side of the story. That's right. We need to ask her first. And so, the day before the four-day weekend, my brother-in-law had contacted me to say that he and his wife were going to have a discussion. But since I had also been inconvenienced by this incident, he asked me to join them, so my husband and I decided to attend too. In the meantime, it seems that Keita is being looked after by a friend of his from the neighborhood. So, I heard it was three nights and four days, but what's that about? Uh... Kanako, answer me! Why did you lie about the number of nights? Kanako-san was silent at first, but gradually began to open up. I'm sorry, I was lying. The three nights and four days was a lie, and it was originally planned as one night and two days. 
Why did you tell a lie like that? Uh, uh, then Kanako-san started to cry. I'm sorry! After going on a trip with my friends for one night and two days, I was planning to relax at my parents' house for the other two nights since I've been a bit tired with childcare recently. I'm really sorry. Uh, if that's the case, you should have told me earlier. It seems that Kanako-san, tired of her everyday life, asked me to look after her child. Hmm. But isn't that strange? What? I immediately noticed the contradiction. Kanako-san, you were going to leave Keita at your parents' house and go on a trip. But your mother got a cold and couldn't do it, which is why you asked me to look after him, right? And yet, when you came back after one night and went back to your parents' house, Keita was with you after all. <laughs> When I interrupted her, Kanako-san started to obviously panic. Kanako, what on earth is going on? My brother-in-law also questioned her. Actually, the part about going to my parents' house was also a lie. What? 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 She was lying again! There was a single person plan at a hotel in the city and I was planning to stay there, but... I thought you would be angry if I spent money without asking, so... I couldn't say it and lied. I'm really sorry. You... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! My brother-in-law looked like he had lost his temper and was too exhausted to be angry anymore. Which hotel is it? You might still be able to cancel now. My brother-in-law asked, but Kanako-san was silent again. Hey, are you listening? Tell me which hotel it is. I forgot. I just looked on the internet and booked the cheapest place I could find. For goodness sake, then show me your phone. I think you received an email when you made the reservation. Uh, okay... For some reason, Kanako-san's response to my brother-in-law's question wasn't very clear. Kanako-san, do you have your phone? I think you'll be able to find the name of the hotel easily if you look. Uh, but if I cancel now, I might have to pay a cancellation fee! Of course you will! Of course, you'll pay out of your own wallet, right? Uh Are you listening? <laughs> oh, what? 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 For some reason, Kanako-san suddenly burst into tears and everyone was in a state of confusion. Kanako-san, what on earth is the matter? What's wrong all of a the sudden? Then... I can't take it anymore! It's all a lie! Everything is a lie! Then, after crying and screaming... It was a lie that I was gonna go home and relax! It was a lie that I had booked a hotel and even the trip with my friends! I had made plans to meet up with the man I was seeing! What? What? Kanako-san suddenly revealed her affair. Hey... What does that mean? <laughs> Kanako-san spoke with tears in her eyes. Apparently she got close to a man who worked at the hair salon she frequented from two years ago. And they hit it off. They went out for meals a few times without telling her husband. And one time they drank together. They crossed the line and from then on they deepened their love for each other. You're kidding. I didn't notice at all. Kanako-san... Is that why you want to leave your child with Katomi? Yes. After receiving a request for childcare from Kanako-san, the conversation didn't make sense because she was having an affair behind his back. We finally understood that she was trying to cover it up. Kazuma-san, who was told this shocking truth, was just stunned. Brother, Katomi-san. Thank you for taking the time to see us today, but we'd like to discuss things as a married couple. 
So, yeah. I understand. And so we left my brother-in-law's house. I wonder if Kazuma's okay. I don't know. Leaving Kanako-san aside, I was worried about Kazuma's mental state. When we got home, I made dinner, but neither my husband nor I were in the mood for it. The next day, I received a report from my brother-in-law that the divorce had been finalized. Of course, custody of Keita was given to my brother-in-law. As I thought. It was the first day of the consecutive holidays, but I didn't feel like going to the amusement park we had promised to go to. And Kanako-san naturally didn't join our friends on their trip either. With the consecutive holidays now gone and a sense of gloom hanging over our household, Kanako-san sent me a line. This is all your fault for not being tactful. If I had left my child with you, I could have gone on a trip with my friends and then a trip with my boyfriend, and I could have broken up with him there. I could have continued living without hurting my husband or son, but it's all your fault. How are you going to take responsibility for this? I received a line message with a long list of complaints, but... I'm sorry. I don't understand why I'm being scolded. I had plans with my husband too, and I just wanted to prioritize that, of course. If you're going to lie, you're gonna have to make up a better one, don't you think? Oh, that's right. It's wrong to have an affair in the first place. I sent a message full of sarcasm and I got a bunch of replies, but I didn't even bother to read it. And I blocked her without replying, thinking that I wouldn't have anything to do with her in the future. I'm so tired. I know. There's been so much going on in the last few days that both my husband and I were feeling lethargic. And then my husband... No, no, no! Oh, we can't waste this precious holiday like this. Let's go to that amusement park tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah. When things like this happen... We've got to go out and have fun. <laughs> Alright. For now, I'm going to play and forget about the bad things. I think things are going to be tough for my brother-in-law and Keita from now on, but I believe that those two will be able to live healthy and happy lives. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time!